<laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah. There we are. Hi, Meat Sandwich. Hi, Loris. How you doing? I'm good. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Getting ready for the weekend. Yeah. All right. Uh, today on the show, here's our question. This is our topic today. One of our topics. Uh, what was your favorite kids TV show growing up? Okay. When you were a little kid. Now, it's going to be interesting because uh, Robin is a little bit older than I am. So right. I was talking to her about it the other day. I think her shows were all in black and white, if she remembers. <laughs> it's all the Lone Ranger. Well, just, just... And you're a lot younger than I am, too. So what would be your... Do you remember when you were a kid? Is there like one show that you loved watching? I had a lot of favorite shows when I was a kid. I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like that kind of kid. Uh, but I grew up in an era where there was a lot of like uh, different cartoons on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, so I had a lot of those shows. I loved Animaniacs. That was the Animaniacs. Big, that I was remember a big that, show yeah. for me. Yeah, I love that show. Uh, I remember. Th I remember the day that SpongeBob SquarePants premiered. It was a, it was a life changing day. <laughs> really? How, how old were you when SpongeBob premiered? Five. Really? Oh, that's perfect age. Yeah, yeah. The, so I remember watching yeah. the first episode. Wow, of you are young. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so Sponge, SpongeBob and Animaniacs are probably yeah. the big two. Uh, I've been uh, I've been watching uh, online. They have the uh, trailer for the new Mister Rogers movie, right? What's that's, that's coming out. Uh, right. No, this is there's a documentary that oh, they're yeah. doing first that yeah. has like all like behind the scenes footage and stuff. And then there, I guess the, Tom Hanks is working on a, a movie too. But as I'm watching that, I'm getting so nostalgic. Right. I loved Mister Rogers when I was a kid. Yeah. Loved that freaking show. And I didn't really get all the sentimentality and all the kindness and stuff. I just thought that he had like a cool house. <laughs> It's like, oh, look at that train. The trolley was the <laughs> coolest freaking thing as a kid. I'm like, oh, my God, look at it. He's got a little trolley in his house, and it goes through the tunnel, and there's a whole little village in there, and yeah. he had the little fish that he would feed. Oh, I thought it was great. <laughs> so I was thinking about that. But then uh, we had another show when I was a kid called The Magic Garden. Have okay. you ever heard of this show? It was like two, like, tripped-out hippie chicks, and they would just sing songs and read stories, and it had, like, all these weird puppets and stuff. I feel like I've seen parodies of that show, but I can't... Probably. <laughs> probably. I can't think I've... It was pretty trippy. It was, like, yeah. very, like, you know, 1970s, like, you know, acid trip kind of right. thing with these two chicks that are, like, stoned. <laughs> I love it. I love that show, too. <laughs> so, anyway, so we'll talk more about uh, your favorite shows you remember as a kid uh, growing up. Uh, plus, uh, this morning, if you missed our interview with Colin Quinn, a uh, very funny uh, comedian, yeah. he's going to be uh, in Poughkeepsie tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be rerunning that early in the show for those of you who get up early. So you can uh, you can hear that. Uh, we're also going to take a look at movies. Meet at the movies yes. uh, this weekend. What, uh, what movies opening this weekend? Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising, I guess, would be the big one this weekend. Um, uh -huh. So if you're one of the few people who saw Pacific Rim in theaters, like me, uh, yeah. you might be excited for that. <laughs> uh, also, there's a new horror movie called Unsane opening up. Uh, Unsane? Unsane. Not insane, Unsane. Unsane, okay. yes, uh, which I'm kind of excited for. And then uh, Sherlock Gnomes. Oh, <laughs> what, another one of those gnome movies? Another one of those gnome movies, yeah. yeah. So those, those, are, those are the three opening up this weekend. Yeah. All right. We'll see how, the, how those are going to be. <laughs> uh, Bobby Walbert's going to take a look at sports. I assume we're talking uh, March Madness uh, this morning. Uh, speaking of, uh, Hudson Valley Madness is down to the Final Four. Yeah. Uh, we're just minutes away from, let's see, yeah, we're nine minutes away from the uh, Poughkeepsie-Middletown battle ending. Okay. All right, that's our last battle in the first round. Now we're going to get down to the Final Four. So uh, in just a little bit, we'll reveal who the Final Four is, and you guys can start voting next week. This is pretty exciting. Yeah. We're trying to find the best town. Here in the Hudson Valley. Yeah, okay. we should have taken bets out on who is going to win this. Thing. Oh, I'm sure there's people wagering at home. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we got all that going on. Uh, it's going to be a great Friday. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to it. The weather has turned around a little bit. It was beautiful yesterday. Yeah, it was really nice out. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have a nice weekend, too. All right, thanks for watching the pre-show show. We'll be on the air in uh, just a little bit. Yeah. All right, thanks.